left him not not quite ready for the cross country season. But uh, yep, he's uh, responded in grand fashion here. And we'll see uh, three brand new medalists here because none of the returning medalists are well there. I guess they're not returning medalists because none of them are back. Yeah. So Antoine Thibault is the gold medalist. Igor Bouguio from uh, France was a France uh, exchange student at Laval is not back competing this year and Braden Seneca has graduated from Guelph he was the bronze uh, medalist and silence falls across the Dennis Friedel field house and the men are off 3,000 meter final let's see if it's uh, you know similar to that women's final if anyone's gonna take it out or if we're gonna see a little bit more tactical affair mm -hmm. The question is, how is this going to play out? A few athletes in this field would probably rather slow pace and kick, but then I'm thinking of Sheffer, I'm thinking of Rawling, guys who have fast times this year, may want it to be quick to suck out the juice out of their competitors' legs. Already a little bit of jostling after that second turn, you know, if you're in the middle there, and uh, you know, sometimes you got to throw out a hand and kind of put it on the, the back of the guy in front of you to stabilize yourself, but looks like we got an honest set up now where there's enough space between the athletes. Let's hope uh, it stays clean and uh, mm. we have a good race. Karen McDonald of Alp. Karen McDonald or Roy Rowitz, they have the same haircut. I think that's Karen McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> Both have mullets uh, taking the lead. Angus Rawling, Jack Sheffer sitting on uh, his shoulder. And, uh, and uh, Mark Patton. Quite a different, uh, a different story than uh, the women's 3K where Yi just shot out in the front and made it a race from the start. This is going to be, uh, I think, a bit more reserved here. Sergio Reyes Villanueva is going to take the lead. And... Uh, like a 70, 71 second lap for the first lap, so they are in no rush. I believe that's Kieran McDonald, the Alberta runner out there. And bib number, or uh, what do you call those things? Hip? They're not bib, hip. yes, hip. Chest numbers, <laughs> I don't know. How long have I been running? I, I think I think a hip number, hip number sounds good. Maybe I'm confused. It's not on their hip, but. Chest and right hip. Yeah. And that's Angus Rawling sitting in second, Sergio, and then Jack Sheffer in the hunt sitting in fourth still quite a tight bunch though just about at 600 meters so 146 so yeah nothing uh, nothing too fast so far and um i guess just for now before the race gets too intense i'm just going to remove my cloak of impartiality here for a couple seconds and uh send a shout out to two of my former roommates in the field so angus rawling still competes for st effects and calder wolf who used to compete st effects now uh, at law school at dalhousie university uh we definitely ran a lot of miles together so uh Behind, behind this, this, uh, this role of impartiality, definitely wishing those two gentlemen the best. <laughs> it would nice, be nice to see some East Coast representation on the podium, and mm -hmm. we might very well see that. We might see that. So Sergio Reyes Villanueva, Angus Rawling, Kieran McDonald, Jack Sheffer. Kieran McDonald and Royden Radowitz sporting the mullets. Uh, you know? There was, uh, I think there was an Instagram post, uh, and I, that's where I noticed it first, but yeah, bringing, bringing the mullets back business in the front party in the back and we'll mm -hmm. see if these athletes mean business we'll get a split for you <laughs> here Sergio looks like things are picking up still here still out front 253 1st K you know in the women's race you know when you have a, a, a runner like Reagan you use so much uh, she's seated such higher than so much higher than the rest of the field. You know, you're not surprised when she runs away with it. But in this race, when they're a little bit closer seeds, you know, you gotta wonder about the strategy leading. If it's gonna be as fruitful for Sergio here. Mm -hmm. But you know, maybe he's just looking for an honest race, even though he's a quite a good closer. But you know, he looks comfortable right now. Angus Rawling still on his shoulder, and Jack Sheffer of Western in third. No one really seems to have lost contact with that lead, so. Take your attention to, in a way in the back, Russell Pennock. So, um, an interesting tactic for him. He's known as uh, a distance athlete primarily. He's a triathlete. I believe he represented the country in triathlon. So, um, interesting as to why he's not trying to make the pace faster because he, I don't think he's a kicker. Um, but maybe he knows something we don't. Now ben Workman as well, uh, up in that top six we hadn't mentioned yet. Nick Collin and Caleb DeJong running together as a Trinity Western uh, Spartans. Soon they're going to uh, cross that 1500 meter mark. Nick Collin making a move on the outside, fitting himself into sixth position there behind, I believe that is Connor Black and Ben Workman of Guelph, teammates. 
just about 416, 1500 meter split. So uh, on pace for something all these gentlemen can handle. Sorry, that's uh, Mark Patton and Ben Workman. Sitting in fourth and fifth, Nick Collin. I believe that's Caleb DeYoung of Trinity Western. Kieran McDonald dropping back a little bit in about seventh. Then we have Connor Black of Guelph and his teammate Mitch Eubin making a move on the outside. And this is going to be uh, six laps to go. Six laps, are we sure of this? Uh, have we been keeping an eye on that lap count? <laughs> <laughs> I sure haven't. I hope the athletes have, though. Okay. It is still Sergio Reyes, Villanueva. Name you love to say. And the name you love to say, followed closely by Angus Rawling. You know, I'm liking Angus's position here. You know, he's he's in, definitely in a safe position and uh, isn't using up too much energy, just keying off Sergio there. You know who seems like he's hurting is Jack Sheffer right now. Jack, you're right, has definitely dropped considerably Ooh. back to about eighth place. And that's, you know, that's one of those things. You never know what's going to happen. Nick Collant looking strong, sitting in fourth behind Patton of Guelph and Workman of Guelph. And that's Kieran McDonald again making a surge. He was back there for a bit in about seventh. Maybe got trapped behind when Sheffer started dropping, but he's... Sheffer is way out the back. Squeak back into... Now it looks like Angus Rowling wants to take the lead. Sorry, that's Royden Radowitz of Alberta. Sorry, they, you do get these guys mixed up. <laughs> about four laps to go. I failed to catch that uh, 2K split. But it looks like Angus. Is this characteristic of Angus to put in a little bit of surge? Very. You know. Absolutely. And speaking of Serge, Sergio. Sergio. Trying to hang on with Royden Radowitz of Alberta making a push. And Mark Patton in fourth from Guelph starting to separate a little bit. But it might be these top three men. Maybe four if Patton can hold on. Where the medals might be decided. Another one we're not seeing is Connor Black. Connor Black and Sheffer surprisingly. Sheffer is way out the back. He is out of this race. Big surprise from your favorite. And you know what? Looks like it's a two-man race right now. So Angus, Angus Rowling, Rowling and Roy Gradowitz. The two gentlemen are from Alberta, so <laughs> this is going to be a rivalry, a rivalry finish. Very hard to say who's looking better right now. They're both looking pretty smooth, and they have two laps to go. Two laps. Royden looking actually pretty comfortable. Doesn't look like he's ran, uh, you know, 13 laps already. No, he looks quite comfortable. And Sergio Angus maybe tying up a little bit. Suffering from leading and Patton kind of keying off him, maybe just looking to snag a medal. And Russell Panic is sitting in fifth, a little bit back, leading a chase group of that looks like Ben Workman and Caleb DeYoung of Trinity Western. But right now, it's Angus still pushing the pace of Royden Radowitz of Alberta coming into the last lap. About 500 meters left to go here. Rolling and Radowitz, and Rolling seems to be taking a bit of a lead here. And now this is the closing lap, 748. Rolling is pulling away from Radowitz, and this seems to be rolling. Radowitz looks like he's losing a little bit and Sergio we said don't Sergio, count him out but this is Angus Rawling all Angus he has five meters ten meters on the field Reisville and Lele started to kick but this is going to be rolling ladies and gentlemen the St. FX X man kicking 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 to the line but here comes Sergio maybe a little bit too late this is going to be Angus and I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to get quiet here but this is hey, Angus okay, Rawling the U Sports champion we're going to dinner tonight, <laughs> and we're going to celebrate. <laughs> and Sergio. this is Sergio Les Villanueva, Kieran McDonald, Connor Black, Mark Patton, but Angus Rowling is the U Sports <laughs> champion. And, and you're excited about it. I'm your buddy. I, I'm excited about it. I gotta, I gotta keep it calm. But you know, wow, this came, is incredible. He came in season 808. You know, we weren't sure if that was a, you know, just a, a little. Uh, I don't know what you call it. A bluff or something over there in Boston, but he clearly showed that nope, he deserved to be here and he deserved a win today. Yeah, so uh, after Matt Coolen last night uh, put the Dalhousie Tigers on the Mac, now it's Angus Rawling, the champion, the U Sports champion, and now he's uh, giving a hug to Cal DeWolf, who uh, was his roommate, and Nicola Moran is also uh, congratulating him. And uh, I don't know if I can get in trouble for getting too excited about these <laughs> things, but. Uh, um, 818 for Angus Rawling, 819 for Sergio so Reyes Villanueva. Super, super fast uh, time. But when you uh, but when you take into account the first uh, the first K of 253, 
Yep. And now my phone, my phone is going off. Um, Gabe LeBlanc is telling me I was sorry. getting too excited. Royden Radowitz, not a uh, Kieran McDonald coming out there in third place. So that's a, a nice uh, mix there on top of the podium. An AUS, an OUA, and a Can West. Make up your one, two, three. Mark Patton of Guelph in fourth. Russell Pennick of Calgary. So, you know, he saw him there at the back at first, but he really made his way up, got a fifth place. I think he's going to be happy with that. Ben Workman having a good race for Guelph in sixth, 823. Caleb DeYoung, the, if we're right about it, says Virgin, coming out in seventh. And his teammate, Nick Collant, 830, in eighth behind him. So an exciting race.